Welcome to What's New with Takanu, Obelisk of the Sun. Today let's go over solo mode. Before we begin, I will be using these holders for my tokens, which I purchased separately. Set up the game as though setting up for a two-player game with the following changes. The opponent you will be playing against, bought in common, does not use a player board, but keep the buildings, pillars, and statues nearby, and return the player board and production markers back to the box. Remember, because you are setting up as though playing a two-player game, to remove the T16 technology and D20 decree cards. When dealing out decrees so that you may choose one, do not deal out to bot in common. Take the starting cards, shuffle them together, deal yourself three, and from those three, choose two of those cards. Bot in common does not use starting cards, nor receives any resources. Bot in common always starts the game in first position, and when choosing destiny cards, bot in common will always choose either the scribe or gold, and it will be random, so perhaps flip a coin. Next, shuffle all 10 bot in common action tiles and place them so they form a pyramid, four on the bottom, three above that, two above that, and one above that. Place the progress marker next to the base on the left side. Then place the Devon token nearby. And bot in common places a statue as though building in honor of a god as though they had chosen a one die. So in this game example, it would be in the Osiris section. Bot in Common's population starts at seven and happiness starts at four. For Bot in Common's turn, if the progress marker is not yet on a tile, move it onto the bottom leftmost tile and resolve that effect. Otherwise, if the progress marker is on one of the tiles, then flip the Devon token like a coin. And if it were to land heads, move the progress marker up one tile. However, if it were to land tails, move it to the right instead. So heads, upwards right, tails, just right. So regardless of where the progress marker lands, Bot in Common will always take a die. Bot in Common never gains resources, so he never pays resources. In fact, the only thing Bot in Common can gain in terms of tokens is scribes. So if Bot in Common were ever to do an action that would result in them getting the gold on the board, for example, that gold would just get discarded. When the progress marker lands on a god, take the highest value pure or tainted die. If the highest value of pure and tainted were tied, take the pure die. If there was still a tie, randomly choose one. If there are no dice in that section, or the only available ones are forbidden, then move counterclockwise to choose one from that section. After they take the die, they perform the god action, without dealing with resources, of course. Button Commons dice still get placed in their play area. If the progress marker lands on a resource token, Button Common takes the highest value die starting on the left. So in this case, Button Common would take this die as it is pure or tainted and of the highest value. So this goes in Bot and Commons play area. Then he would perform the god action of that section. He never produces resources. But if this were the case and there is no yellow, then move to the next one on the right and take the highest value, in this case, brown die. And we can see that one is forbidden, but there is one that is tainted and another one tainted. So you would take this one. And you would continue on until you were finally able to take one die. If there was a tie between which one he could take, he would take the one where he has a statue built. So, of course, this one. If the dice were tied where he did not have a statue, then he would take randomly. However, if he were tied in a location where he had statues in both locations, he would take from the one offering the higher Horus bonus. So, in this case, between Osiris and Horus, Horus is six, so that would be the die he would take from. And if for some reason you were unable to take any of these dice, take the highest gray die. When a die is taken, perform the god action. Remember that Bot in Common does not pay resources. If Bot in Common chooses to build a statue, his first choice is to build in honor of a god. However, if that spot is occupied, he will build one for the people. Bot in Common's first choice is to build above the workshops and quarries. 
and they choose whatever will have the greatest impact on them having control of each district. If both spaces are already occupied, or placing a statue wouldn't affect control of any area, Baden Common places a statue around the temple, placing his statue where it would line up with more of its pillars. If tied, choose randomly. They then score three points per pillar in that row or column. If the statue spaces are already occupied, Baden Common scores three points instead. And although the bonuses you will receive for a statue remain unchanged, Baden Common receives alternate rewards. For a one or a two, they receive one scribe. For a three and a four, they receive one victory point. For a five and a six, they receive one scribe and one victory point. When doing a raw action, Baten Common takes the tile that corresponds with the die he took, do not change its orientation, and place it where it would get the most points. So it would get one point per building, regardless of ownership, in the same row and column, and it gets one point per adjacent edge, regardless of color. It ignores rewards covered by the pillar and any rewards printed on it as well. It would then also receive the amount of points depending on which spot it took it from. So in this case, another three points as well. So in this case, one, two for the two buildings, one for the adjacent edge, and one, two, three because of the spot it was taken from. If there are multiple spots where you could build that would grant the same amount of victory points, Break the tie using its own building. If still tied, break ties for spaces not adjacent to the temple edge. And if still tied, pick randomly. When doing a Hathor action, Bot in Common builds a building where it would gain the most points from pillars. If that number is tied, choose randomly. Remember that Bot in Common does not gain resources or faith tokens. Then move the population marker like you normally would. When doing a Bastet action, move the happiness marker the same amount of points you normally would. And remember, Botan Common does gain scribes. If the happiness marker were to ever move beyond the population marker, the population marker moves instead. Botan Common ignores all bonuses printed on the populace track. When doing a Thoth action, he will take one, two, or three cards depending on the die value and he will take from the highest section available. And he takes cards in priority order of decrees, then technologies, then blessings, if relevant. If Bot in Common had to prioritize between multiple of the same priority, he starts with the leftmost card. So if we did take this six, for example, we would still take three cards, and the two technology cards and the leftmost blessing card. Bot in Common ignores all the effects on the card and just keeps them all in a pile in his play area. When Bot in Common does an Osiris action, he suffers no loss in happiness. And the number on the die determines what row, and the color determines what spot. The spots, of course, being yellow, brown, white, or black. If Bot in Common has to choose a gray die, he'll build a building in whichever district has the least amount of buildings. And if there was a tie for fewest buildings, he would choose the leftmost spot. If the spot he were to build in were already occupied, he would choose the next spot to the right, looping around. So in this case, granite would then loop back to papyrus and so forth. And if the entire row were occupied, he would go to the next one above that looping vertically if necessary. And of course, Bot in Common ignores any resource gaining or increasing. The next change for solo mode we come across is in the mat phase. For the first mat phase, Bot in Common's marker goes to the positive three spot. So you must beat that if you wish to go first next round. For the second mat phase, his marker goes to two, so you must beat that in order to be first. And for the third and fourth mat phases, he will be at positive one, so you must beat that if you wish to go first. Because if there is a tie, 
Button common onc value is always four. So button common will always go first if there is a tie. And when button common goes first, he always chooses the scribe or gold cards. Remember for destiny cards, button common receives no rewards. Of course, if you are first place on the score track, you may freely choose any of the destiny cards. Of course, return bot and commons dice back to the bag, then take all 10 tiles, reshuffle them, and reorder them in the pyramid for the next four rounds. Place the progress marker back at the bottom of the pyramid base and start again. During a scoring phase, you and Bot and Common score the same way for each district for the Osiris section. You and Bot and Common score the same way in and around the temple complex. You and Bot and Common score the same depending on how many statues you each built. And your happiness is scored in the same manner. As for Bot and Common specifically, he scores two points per blessing and it gets discarded, and two points per technology and they are kept. Remember, Bot and Common does not have a production track, so there is no points for that, nor is it keeping track of what points to get for buildings constructed, and does not deal with resources, so there is no bread to pay for the buildings. In addition, during final scoring, Bot and Common will score normally, depending on where it ended up on the turn order track, and in addition to the two points per blessing card and two points per technology card he has, he also gains four points per decree card. Plus every two scribes he has is worth one point. Before we go, here's some ultimate rules you may enjoy to increase difficulty. During setup, Bot and Common builds a building on the five bread location and the five granite location as well as a pillar on the center location in the temple. For an even harder challenge, build a statue in honor of a god in the four location. Another variation to try is to deal yourself two starting cards and just use those. Another challenge you may enjoy is, on top of getting two points per blessing and technology, instead of getting four points per decree, get eight points. Thank you for joining me to learn Tekenu Obelisk of the Sun's Bot and Common solo mode. I invite you to join me now as I do a playthrough. And welcome back to Tekenu Obelisk of the Sun. So we do have a bit of a different setup today. Um, this is the solo run through, so my player board is up there and Bot and Common does not use a player board. Instead, they have this as their setup. So they still use the pillars and buildings and statues. As for the board, we can see that we're we, the player, still starts at 5 population and 2 happiness, the starting happiness, starting population. Um, Bot and Common, however, does get a bit of an advantage. So they start at 7 population and 4 happiness. Um, so we do have two, uh, two players set up. So we have, uh, uh, what is that? More. 1, 2, 3, 4 dice should be in here. 2, 3... Four, there it is. Yeah, we got four dice in there uh, for when when we get to the uh, mat phase or for the rotation. You know, you know what I mean. When we get to the rotation, we could put more uh, dice on the board. We can see we don't have to worry about who's going first because at the very start of every solo game, bot and common will always be first. So that's just how that is. As for starting resources, they don't deal with resources at all. There's none here. They're not going to get any, so they don't receive nor do they have to pay any if they pull a die they just do the action without having to worry about do they have the resources uh yes they just do as for us what do we get for our starting resources so i go one two um decree cards i have not looked at these ones uh can gain three victory points per technology okay that sounds real good gain a number of victory points equal to half the total value of your pure dice. Round it up. And because this is end of game scoring, this is what you end. You know what? I don't want to have to worry about how am I balancing. I'm going to do 
this. If I can get more technology cards and have them be worth uh, three points, that's what I'm going to do. So this is mine. And because I'm playing solo, normally you would flip it over. No one else knows what you got. But since I'm the only one playing, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, leave myself the reminder to see if I can get technology cards. This is just going to go back to the bottom of the pile. As for uh, resource <laughs> resources, um, it says, and I am not playing hard mode. Come on. Okay, so uh, uh, you would be setting up another statue there. You'd be setting up a couple buildings there. Um, uh, you deal yourself two starting cards, and well, that's just what you get. So you get what you get. Um, for an easier mode, deal yourself three and uh, choose two of those. Okay, automatically build a three, and okay, that's, ooh, just start off with resource and any resources. Oh. Okay. Uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. I, wow. Okay, I didn't stack that. So I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to take advantage. Uh, this is what I happen to deal to myself rather than intentionally dealt to myself. If you've got it, right? Um, I think just take the resource. You know what? You know what? Take the resources. I'm going to be, for the solo run through, I'm going to be the one who's going to try to go out of their way to get more cards. Okay. So, uh, as good as this could be, I'm going to... I'm going to give myself the initial advantage. Okay. I'm going to give myself the initial advantage. Okay. Well, I'm going to put, you don't have to put it on the bottom. Once you started the game, you never use these cards again. This is literally just uh, your randomized uh, resources or cards or buildings that are built uh, that you get. So we get one, two, uh, pick one, uh, discard the other one. Uh, okay. So we'll be done with that card. When you perform a thought, <gasps> I for real shuffled these. Did I for real? No, I didn't for real. I didn't shuffle them. I took the top half of the cards and put them underneath. So this is just what came up on the other half of the cards. When playing a blessing, gain a gold. No, I'm going to, I'm, of course I'm going to go with this. Ongoing actions. Nice. So just remember about that. Will I forget? I can almost guarantee it. So I will want to be able to grab cards. And I will want to be able to have better options. Even if not better options, just more options if I'm going just for technology cards. I definitely want to move up. So I want happiness, but I need my population to move up. So I am going to need bread and I'm going to need papyrus. So I think that's what I focus on. Uh, certainly to start out. I can take a good card. Now I can even gain three. So so I will need three papyrus to start. That is for sure. And my happiness right now. Okay, so if I took one of these smaller dice, my, wait, took one of these smaller, no, took one of the bigger dice, get three cards. Oh, that's okay. Well, without a, a, a uh, three or a four here. Oh, I didn't give myself a scribe or a gold to start. So I do have a scribe to start. Sorry about that. So I do have a scribe and a gold to start. Start up, set yourself up the way you would for a two player game. Um, it, that's just being how you start up, period. So, okay. One, two, three. So I do have a scribe. I, whoops. Ah, oh, this was a six. This was a six. I could use a scribe. I could put that down to four and grab just two cards. And I would only need two papyrus if I am looking to maximize just getting technology cards. Is that worth a scribe, though? I'll say no. I'll take the three. I'll just take a blessing. I'll, I'll go for here. Um, and then, do I want to build a building next? Or I could just move up my happiness. Hmm, that's a lot of different. Um, I'm just also thinking, how do I gain faith tokens? If I build to Osiris. Oh, sorry, this was here from the tutorial. That's why that's there. Oh, no, it's not for the tutorial. 
for the tutorial, I left the, the board the same. So that is there because of the, the bot. Sorry, I'm getting what I'm doing now versus what I was doing before mixed up, but let us continue. So to continue, this Osiris action, I cannot build a statue to the god, so I will not be able to build there to be able to get faith. I do kind of wish I changed that. On the other hand, I accidentally gave myself such an advantage that I'm going to let that slide. So do I just build buildings? Because if I do, I can gain one faith token and one and one and one. Oh, I'm talking myself into it. I'm talking myself into it. Get myself more. Oh, okay. Because I can use the gold for bread. So if I do that, okay. So to set myself up, yes, I'm still doing setup. I get myself bread, get myself uh, this one, <laughs> papyrus. Okay, so I'm done starting. And then bot and common always choose their first. So they get to choose the first destiny card. They always choose a uh, scribe or gold. So I figure scribe or gold. Sound fair? And it is scribe. Okay, I will not be getting a scribe. Um, so I was just saying faith tokens, wasn't I? Or do I want to continue having more resources? Faith. Okay. So let's see if I start getting, um, uh, tainted, uh, dice right now, they're all low. The, oh, there is a five on the pillar side, just beside this one right there. That's a five. Hmm. Do we worry about resources? Do we worry about faith? Resources, if I'm getting stuff here, can I build a... Oh, I can. I am able to build a pillar if I grab a one or two there. Right now, it's a tainted... There is a tainted one there. And if I had... If I grabbed these, they would need two limestone. And if I had that extra gold, that extra gold, then I would have the two limestone and one granite I would need if I built a building there. Okay. I guess that's what I will aim for, what my fourth action will be, I'm sure will just come up and I will be happy to take it. So this one, uh, what's next? Faith. Oh, oh, I just realized by the time I grab that one, that one, it'll be in sunny and it'll be pure. So I'll have even more pures. Maybe instead of grabbing that six right now, But then it'll be forbidden. I won't be able to take it all together. Oh, man. Okay, alternate. Wait. Oh, I was going to say alternate plan. But my plan relies on the Hathor, Hathor action to get the resources in the first place. So I won't be able to grab a forbidden die. Grab that. It'll be, f this will be, this, this die that I really, this die I really want to grab will be forbidden next. Do you only grab a two? Because I still could use the scribe to up that two by one or even the one by it doesn't matter so that I can so that I could grab the two cards instead of one if I am doing that do then I rewind and switch all right hi everybody so what ended up happening was I started taking my turn and realized I don't go first but in common goes first so I just reset everything. So here's what I ended up deciding on. I'm at two breads, three papyrus. I got the gold from that. I have a scribe in gold because of starting. Um, the technologies, that's, this is the technology card I stuck, the two points for thought action. And these are just 
Uh, I'm just going to set those off to the side because they won't be used until the mat phase. Okay, so bot in common is the one that goes first. So because the progress marker, this little scarab, oh, is that side down? Yeah. Anyways, goes on the progress marker and then it's going to go to the right. Either it's going to go strictly to the right, to the next uh, tile on the right, or is going to go to the right while going upwards. So that's what this uh, is for. So, however, to start, because it's not even on it at all, it always starts on the bottom left. So right now it's a Hathor action. So that is where he's going. Uh, that's what uh, he's uh, bot in common is going to do. And he's going to put a building. Oh, he takes a die. These two are forbidden. There's only one die, so we only can take one die. And the number on a Hathor action, remember, doesn't matter. So, um, so he's going to put a building where he's going to end up with the most points. But in this case, there are no pillars in the temple complex, so we're just going to put it randomly. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, uh, well, which side do you want? I'm going to go heads, tails. Okay. This being heads, this being tails, of course. Tails. It's going to go along here. Two, three, four. Uh, do you want a two or a three? Oh, well, I said two first, so I'll say, do you want a two or a four? And I said two first, so two is heads. Do you want it on the four? That makes sense. I would, if I could, as well. So he does not gain any of the resources. Um, there is no scribes here, so it, but he wouldn't gain any anyways. Um, so that's just where he puts it. That's his turn. Now for me, ripping my hair out, trying to figure out what I'm doing, and I can't even do a Hathor action, so that's off the table now. Because it would have been nice to have built a building. I should have seen this, that this is the first thing he did, so it was out of the question. Um, it would have been nice to build a building, you know, gain a few resources. What can you do? Not that, that's for sure. Okay, so what am I going to do? Well, I do want to increase my happiness. I do want to have the ability, uh, you know, to be able to gain cards from over here. That's on two, come on. Um, uh, so to gain cards from over here my happiness needs to be where my population is at minimum because it needs to be red so i can get two um, so i can maybe use a, a, a scribe to change that or that to a three so i'm going to move my population up first so i'm going to use one two oh, that's fine if you use one two i'm going to use this to increase the popu or my happiness, so that next turn I can pull from there. This was in pure, so it's going to go on the pure side. Oh, why are my dice wrong? Why are my dice wrong? Well, why are my dice wrong? I don't think that changes my action. One, two, three. Oh, or to start at happiness. Is everything else right? No, it's not. Good hat. What do you think? Gray. Oh, it's always forbidden. Yeah. Or, or tainted, I mean. Browns. These are pure. Oh, that does affect what Hazel would have done. No, it wouldn't have affected what he would have done. It would have affected what die he would have taken. He would have taken the highest die. That's what he took. Because it's the highest uh, take of the god action, take the highest number die. If uh, there's a tie between tainted and pure, take the pure one. Okay. So. Oh, 
Okay, now I think I'm correct. You know, I'm not going to start over again. I'm just going to say I fixed it real quick. Let's continue on. Oh. Okay, so now, 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 and now I do have the ability to take a Hathor action, which increases my population, which is what I want. Okay. Okay. So, and I was hoping to get a bit more faith. So that means I'm building in a 3D location. And I don't want to build in a corner. I want to get, I want to maximize what I'm able to get. So I will build a, I will do a Hather action. Okay, I'll just make a note when I first make it to, that I do eventually catch it early on. Okay, all fine. So what am I taking? Doesn't matter what I'm taking. So take a pure or a tainted. That's going to be forbidden right away. Maybe take the tainted. Okay. Take the tainted. That's fine. Build a building. Oh, pay the bread. I already paid the bread. One, two, three. I'll put it, I guess, just here. Grab one of those. I have one faith, one limestone, one papyrus, one granite, one bread. Okay. So I have another bread. I even have four papyrus now. Isn't that nice? A granite and a faith. Okay. Uh, gain points for pillars. There are none. Increase happiness uh, population by one two so we're both at seven now okay uh that is my turn so button come on <gasps> heads he moves up okay so take the highest black die there is and mm, it's another hathor okay okay there is no more Wow, and there's not going to be for a long time. A long time. Okay, so that means when you, even though, even though it's determined by what resource it is, you don't do the resource action. You just do the god action of whatever the highest black die happened to be, and it happened to be Hathor in this case. And I did not increase population, so for pink one two three four five and then one two three four five six very good for them so i'm just going to do the same thing i'm just going to random heads tails heads uh heads uh two or three that landed tails so that's three three or four heads three or four i said so three okay Okay, so that is their action. I already did the population increase because I realized I forgot to last time as well. That's all cut up. My turn. Okay, so this versus this. This is going to be not available, but I have a scribe. I could increase that by two, which allows me to get two. That's okay. I have the papyrus to do so. I'm saying that because then maybe I want to grab one of these. Um, this will be these. Okay, so I'll only have this one available. So that's three. Uh, and that'll be on tainted. Shoot. I'll have everything on tainted. Oh, I'm going to be so tainted. Maybe I can do one of those actions. Yeah, maybe I can do one of those actions. Okay. Four and seven. So I suppose what I do then is this is on seven sorry i'm just it's so easy to knock them over increase happy i want to increase happiness by three at least i also don't want to be super tainted okay that's fine so i'm going to use this i'm going to be tainted i'm going to increase by one 
right? One, two, three, that's all I need. One, two, three. Oh, I need to pay the papyrus. Papyrus. Do the scribe. Gain a scribe for having done that and increase my happiness by, well, that's as far as it goes, three. Okay, so gain the scribe. This was tainted. That's the scribe. Okay, so it's not the cleanest run through, but here, let's uh, rotate anyways. Ka boom, boom. So now we take a couple more dice and we go, one, oh, I'll do this side, this side. Oh. Get in and here and this side of the dark. Uh, forbidden and here. All right, speaking of, so let's adjust our dice properly. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. Moving on. This is these are pure tainted. Okay. Uh, pure. Oh, this should be the same. This should be proper. Yeah. This should be like that. Okay. And nothing. Okay. Now we continue on. We haven't done a mat phase, so Bot and Common is still first player. So, what you doing? Heads, you're going up. So take the highest white die available. The highest white is this pure six. Six is building a statue to Hathor. Wait, that's that one. Statue to Horus goes uh, there. Okay. Uh, okay. So now I just have to remember if I were to take this action, they get a bonus. Just like if I, and I'm pretty sure I do intend to take an Osiris action, and the bot in common will get a bonus, um, depending on the die. A scribe, if it's a one or two, a victory point for a three or four, and a scribe and bonus point for a five and six. I get this, Bot and Common gets what I just said. So they take the six, that is done. Now as for me, like I said, what I want to do is grab cards, because I want more technology cards, so I get two points per technology card. And I am in, I'm in a good place right now. So what I want to do, and I can use a scribe, is have it be at least a three or a four, which means Go right ahead, take a uh, pure, yeah, take a pure die and make it one more. Okay. And to do, so because I did that, pay a couple of papyrus, put that on the, <gasps> yes, pure, one step closer to not being so out of balance. Grab two cards. The two cards, of course, as I very much want to do that because I'm getting points for that one, just for having them. And hey, look at that. I just did a Thoth, that guy, action. So I get two points. It's so lovely. Now, on top of getting two points for just having them at the end of the game, what can I do during the game? You may treat forbidden dice as if they were pure tainted. What? What a good card to have against a, a robot. I mean, period, but wow. When you perform a Thoth action and gain a Papyrus. Wow. I gained two points and a Papyrus just for getting just for doing what I want to do in the first place. Wow. Okay, I'm, I'm going to put those. Remember, I have a couple Thoth action cards and a pure and tainted. All right, Bond Common. Wait, 
I have to refill this. Right, I paid, I got the die, it's on the right side. Okay, okay, bought and coming, what you doing? Heads, go figure. Okay, so brown, the highest brown die is this six, yeah, and there's just the six, so they're doing a fast tat action. That just goes there, and Although they often, Bot and Common often doesn't receive tokens, if they had grabbed a uh, two, uh, one, two, or a three, or four, they would get these scribes. They get points for having scribes. Um, but that was a six, so they don't get any. Um, and here is the issue I'm having right now. Bot and Common advances his happiness marker as normal. Okay, so he moves six. Bot and Comet advances the happiness marker one step at a time. Which to me says uh, two different things, right? But I also feel like if the population is moving normally, the happiness should move normally rather than whenever you do an action, you, it, it just moves one, one. I don't understand this one at a time versus normally. So I'm gonna play it as one, two, three, four, five, six. Especially since they can make giant leaps in, in their population. As for me, if I want to balance out, if I want to balance perfectly, I'll take a two die or a one die and put my faith token there. So I can take a Two from here, build a building, suffer happiness, loss. Or I could, and I have, wait, 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 uh, pure. Oh, I could take the one pure from here, and I have enough, I have uh, enough to make a limestone and a granite, uh, I use a gold as a limestone, take this one. And then that gives me pillar, that just gives me points. And that's nice. And, and then I don't have to worry. Okay, so. who and I, I can grab even more granite as well. If I put it here, and then I can get the bonus points. Ooh, and they're even in the light as well. Okay. I'm not really seeing a downside, so okay. Um... It's just, do I want the granite? Just grab it, right? Just grab it. Okay. So, I will do that. I will take this, I will put it there. So that I can, well, get to granite before I move on. Oh, and I have to pay, pay, pay. Granite is grabbed. Boom. I get one, two points per building, regardless of and um, one point period because sunny sunny nice plus one point because that's where i grabbed from now we got oh if i wanted to i could do that again as long as it's dark no this is shade as long as it's shaded oh and i didn't even move the die this die is the die that i took boom okay so we now do a matte phase We'll return our dice to the bag in a sec. So uh, for the first mat phase, bot and common starts at three. And I, once that faith token is put there, am balanced. Meaning I go first. If there was a tie, um, this doesn't really count. Uh, bot and common has a, 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 you know, an onk of four. Um, this is just so that I don't get it uh, if he plays first. So this, is me. I get to choose the Ankh first, and then Bot and Common can do whatever he wants, because he'll have an Ankh value of four if we were to tie, and we need a tiebreaker. He will go first. The game favors Bot and Common. So that is good. So I get to make first choice. And what do I choose? I am liking this resources, resources thing, because 
I'm considering building a statue right there. So let's me go ahead, take this again, and Button can, can just take whatever he wants. And I will take that gold. And as the first player now, I will, oh, no, 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 not done, not done. As the first player, I will uh, take the dice, uh, put the faith tokens back. I didn't rotate the boom yet, so one, two, so I will grab one. Uh, let's see, I'll go there, this will go in, and two. Oh, oh, yeah. So I'll go there, that'll go there. Now, adjust the dice. So this is still like that. This is, let's see, this goes up, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there, this is pure, this is forbidden. This is how it actually is. Okay, now this one is pure, it's tainted, gray is always tainted. This is orange shadow now, this is tainted, this is pure. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a while before Hathor gets refilled again. Okay, I get to go first. And like I said, I'm, I'm strongly considering a statue now. But that means I need to get a resource somehow. Do I want... Do I want to allow my people to suffer? I do want to keep that up. But then I can get stuff which allows I don't have a scribe. Should I have grabbed a scribe instead? And to give myself time to think, I'm going to reset this. So every mat phase, this gets reset because this is going to be at the apex or as far right as it can go. So just reset it every time. We'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, and one. Okay. So a black die is what they will take. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. When I grab a die, I can treat a forbidden die as if they were pure or tainted. Forgot about that. What do we got right now? Right now we got a lot of tainted dice and forbidden dice and just a few um, pure dice. That doesn't mean that won't change later. But right now I can treat a forbidden die as, as tainted or pure. Awesome. How does that gain me resources? Well, I can take a, I don't have a scribe, so I can take a five die Put it on, so it's a five, put it on here. My power says I can, so take a couple granite and increase my production track, why not? That's a tain, so I'll hope that's okay. And that's what I get. Oh, and increase by, by two? Yeah, one, two. Okay. Oh, and my happiness suffers a little bit. And I will put a building there. Now, highest black die. We have this three and this one. So obviously three, so they're doing a Bastet action. So you're taking a three, their population will increase one, two, three, and they get one scribe. And they have their die. Might as well build my statue. Two, three, wait, 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 stop, stop. There's no four here. On the other hand, Bastet. Bastet has a four. Bastet's not bad though, because you do increase poppy. Uh, I really want one here though. Two and two, may, I don't have a scribe. Had I a scribe, of course I would adjust the value. Do I go ahead and put it on Bastet anyway? 
Well, better me than bot in common. Okay. Boom. Build and best debt. Oh, so this. So that's four because the four cost there. Okay, I just dropped the die. And it was a two. I grabbed it from the tainted side. Statue is there. In a three player game, the person building it would get the resource. Oh, shoot. That means I have to give them one for doing that. Anyways, in a three player game, um, the person building this would get the resource for building it. In a two or four player game, you don't. It's just whoever takes. In a two-player game, when someone takes that action, this person gets the bonus. In this case, uh, Bastet is a Papyrus or a Bread. Um, in a four-player game, only when your opponent does this action would you, uh, would that opponent, no, would you get that uh, bonus. So, that just reminded me, oh, that just reminded me I didn't do Osiris either. Okay, so Osiris was five. That means they get one victory point and a scribe. A two over here means, oh, sorry, a two means they get, wait, a scribe. Wait, I did that. No, the scribe was for this. Because they pulled the highest three, and then they got the scribe. So a scribe for having take in a two this is a big old heavy game folks it's it's a lot clearly okay anyways uh oh where's button come okay there we go now what are you gonna do tails that means you're going over okay so hey thor as we've established, there's no dice there, and it's not going to be. So he goes counterclockwise to grab the highest. In this case, this is a five, and that means they're going to grab this tile to build uh, to build a pillar. And it's going to go. Okay, so you cannot change the orientation. Um, the book says as it is. That's how it goes. So it's just going to go. So it's not going to gain points. It's going to go where it gains the most points. So if I put it here, it's going to gain one point for this and one point for the building. If I put it here, these colors do not match, so they won't get the points for the building. Uh, sorry, for the uh, color matching, they'll instead get the point for one building, two buildings. So either way, they're going to get two points. Um, but uh, if... If that is the case, you pick the one that is not against the outside wall. So in this case, this is where Botan Common is going to build the pillar. And of course, because it uh, doesn't get resources, he doesn't care about that, and he's not going to get that. If I was building this, I wouldn't get this anyways, but sometimes, you know, some bots are like, you get the reward anyway. Not in this case. He doesn't care at all about the reward underneath or on the tile itself. Okay, so to actually score, we get, as established, one, two points for that, one, two, and it gets the three points, one, two, three, for that. And that just goes back there, and of course, these are already slid over, so we're just going to add a, oh, another one. Okay, and now we enter the next mat phase. No, I'm doing this correctly. I said mat phase, although that is incorrect. Just another rotation. Two more dice, it'll be a mat phase. You can see how well my brain uh, goes along with this game. <laughs> so. One. One, and... and that one. Okay, now readjust the dice. Yes. Okay, always. 
Yeah, nice. Nice. Okay. This is correct. Yes. Still did. Okay. Yes. And it's going to be a couple turns yet before Hathor gets any. And I, this is where I started. Okay. Okay. What's on my mind, I really want those bonus points, so I want to get cards. That's fine, but I would want at least that many cards, uh, two cards, but I would need two papyrus, and I still only have a single gold or bread. So I could... That's so bad, though. I could produce, which would only get me two, um, two papyrus in the first place. And if I did that, oh, I don't have a scribe. Three, two. I'm just looking at Osiris here. You know, one papyrus. Okay, so if I gain one papyrus, I could take a two or a three or a four, of which neither, none of these are. Okay, and I do not have. Oh man, is it? No, I'm just thinking. Is it worth my time to just take one, and then one? It kind of is. Because if I just do this, I wish I was able to build a building there. Oh well, but if I take a couple dice from here, oh, but then it'll be pure at the next. Oh, but do I have oh, the whites? Because I'm trying to balance my pure and tainted. If I take, what if I took a six tainted? But then I would need three papyrus, and I'm not allowed to do that. This would stay in tainted. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. If I take this now, next turn, no, it won't matter. I was going to say next rotation. There is no next rotation. It's you take this and you take this. Okay. And I don't have to worry about no matter what um, uh, uh, Bot and Common does, no matter what, they're not taking a gray die. These dice are pretty good for uh, you can take something. So if I take this tainted, okay, so be it. Okay, okay. It's it's small turns, but I'm okay. So I can only take from here, and that's fine. When producing resources, okay, I'll have to worry about resources. Gain a victory point for every excess. Excess. Okay. So it would be unbalanced, but I would get victory points. So, okay. And when I perform a Thoth action, gain a Papyrus. So, because it was a 2, I don't have to worry about Papyrus right now. When you perform a Thoth action, gain 2 victory points. Wow, this going for technologies, I hope, is working out for me. Okay. So, of course, refill. Okay. What are you going to do? Button come in. Tails. So you take the highest brown die. And the highest is indeed Thoth, okay? So a six means they take three cards. Oh, when the population, population, happiness, whatever, reaches blue. So they're actually going to, he's already at blue. I didn't. Wow! Sorry, everybody. Let's do this like this. Okay. So, six. Take three cards. His priority is decrease first. 
then technology cards. So I don't have to worry about and a blessing. So the three are the three. So, okay, so that's just what they get. They just go in a single pile in their play area. We fill one, two, and three. Well, I want my happiness to go up. So this is just theirs. Okay, so hmm, maybe I do want my happiness to go up. Because that's just still going to be tainted anyways. But then, okay, so they three to start, so two. Bot and common will be at two. So if I take this tainted, I'll be at negative one, which is still closer to zero than bot and commons two. So I think it would be worth it to increase my happiness a little bit to give myself this extra, oh, I'm two, papyrus. two papyrus. So I will do one, two, one, two. Okay, so one, two, one, two, and gain two scribes which will go a long way in the future, I hope. Okay, for, okay. Oh, that's right, because I was first. So bot and common still needs to go. Just making, nope, population growth. Oh, I did that, I did that. Wow, I actually did a thing. Where is, okay. What you gonna, oh. Oh, that's right. What you gonna do? Tails. I'll move this over. I didn't realize you couldn't see. Tails goes, well, tails, tails, tails. Okay. Goes to Osiris. Take the highest die. One is tainted, one is pure. Air on the side of pure. So that's the die they take. Take a building. So the number was three, the color was black. And there we go. Man, why you gotta build? No one's gonna be getting points for this, and now bot in common is the one that's gonna be getting points for that. Come on. Okay, I misspoke before, but now we rotate, and yes, it will be a mat phase. And scoring. Okay, like I said, this is the second mat phase. Bot in common will be here. Um, the next two mat phases, they'll be at one. So there is no time where bot and common will be at zero. They give you at least that one chance. So um, mine are at, what is this? Negative one is one there. Okay, so that's fine. So uh, I will be going first again. So now let's see. No one scores, but what is this? What is this? Bot and common gets points. What is this? One, two, three, on common, pink does get a point per building. So they do get the one, two, and per pillar is worth, okay, anyways, this pillar is worth one. Um, uh, okay, so as for me, I get one point, and pillar per, uh, that's mine. So I don't get any points for that pillar. Happiness, I get none, but Bot and Common gets six. Of course they do. Eight. Okay, so Blessing cards, Bot and Common gets uh, two points. They don't have any, but Technology cards, they get two points. And Blessings get discarded, and Technology cards, they get to keep. So next scoring, they get to score this card as well. So that's another one, two points. I have built a statue, so I get a point. Bot and Common doesn't score that. Um, okay, I don't have any here. Bot and Common doesn't score that. Uh, this production track, if you're at six, you get two points. Nope. Um, because I have one building built, I have to pay one bread right here. Uh, and, and I don't get any points. Oh, why am I missing a building way over there? Oh, because I grabbed one from the wrong spot. I grabbed from the wrong end. Still only pay one bread though. So that goes there. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I did the scoring. I'm done with the scoring. So that's just gonna go there. We are done scoring, so I'm just gonna take that off. I'm going to, uh, where's our dark? Over there, so we'll take these two. 
and we got black and tainted and we got these two and oh two grays okay sir sure. yeah tainted tainted all right so i'm going to do this that's pure oh button come can have that back oh and i'll have to redo these oh as well Uh, these are tainted, pure, tainted, no, tainted, tainted, these are pure, and this is tainted, uh, taint, 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 of course, one more, uh, rotation until Hathor finally gets some, okay, I think that's how that was, okay, Hopefully that's it. Um, I'm going to break here, uh, and I'll see you next time I come on. I, mm, hopefully that's tonight. Uh, we'll see. We'll see you in a bit. Um, see you in a bit.